All right, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been following for a little while, you'll be familiar with our $1,000 NB Miata project. I got Eric with me today. We both went in on the car together, so we split everything 50-50. As you know, we originally got it for $1,000, so 500 each. So what we wanna to do today is kind of go over the whole project, how much we spent, what had to be done to the car, what we ended up selling the car for, and if we made a profit, and then kind of give our tips for you if you want to kind of do something like this for yourself, buy a car on the cheap, fix it up, and then try and make a profit on it. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. We actually have a spreadsheet of all the expenses we had on the car, and we're just gonna kind of go over what all we had to do and how we actually ended up making a profit on this car. This is where I kind of want to have Eric come in because he's the one who actually kept up with this whole spreadsheet yeah, so when we first got the car, it was actually we actually picked it up at a shop, and the shop had taken it apart pretty much. They took the timing belt off, the front of the motor off. They were checking timing, making sure nothing was like broken with the timing belt, um, and act, they actually determined that it had overheated and the head gasket needed to be replaced. And if, you know, if you're watch, watching the videos, you know that was true. So one of the first things we knew that needed to be done was the actual head work, um, and we actually went to a local place to us. We knew the, the head was bad, like we said. We ended up pulling all that stuff off. But once we actually got the car in the garage for the first time and started looking at things around the car and you know taking wheels off and stuff like that, we started noticing that just about everything on this car was worn out and was going to need to be replaced. And that's where this spreadsheet came in and lots of parts orders. But we knew we wanted to kind of keep a good track of like all the expenses to make sure we could actually still make a profit on this thing because we were going to be spending a good amount of money at this point. The lucky thing for us is, if you watched last week's video on the current state of the Miata market, the lucky thing for us is the prices right now are kind of insane, so we had a good bit of room there to work with. Yeah. So that's one thing that's going to help you out if you're going to be trying to do this on a Miata, is the prices are inflated right now. Yeah, I mean, could you imagine trying to do this like three years ago? Yeah, we would the, not. The NV, we would have gotten like $3,500. Yeah. We would have lost. I probably would have kept it. Yeah. If knowing that we wouldn't have been able to make any much money back. So I guess we can just kind of run down this list here. So we knew they had obviously, so we sent that to the machine shop to get all that done. So while we're in there, we might we as might well do all the engine maintenance. maintenance. So I guess that would be the next item on the list. Yeah, so we, I guess I say we, Alex luckily has a good relationship with Moss Miata. Yes, thank you, Moss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, we're able to you know, purchase a lot of these um, you know, a lot of their products from them with a, with a slight discount and, you know, that really helped out. So, I mean, w going through the whole motor, um, it made sense to just go ahead and obviously we needed the head gasket, but to also do any seals that, uh, that we saw needed to be taken apart or, or needed to be replaced. Um, also in this order is like brakes and stuff as well. Um, yeah, so 270 for a bunch of stuff for the engine, the brakes, and the head gasket that we already definitely needed. Now we also have the one Moss, down, Moss order down here, and O'Reilly's, shout out to O'Reilly's too, <laughs> <laughs> um, where we, what we get the heater core, um, hoses, the plugs, valve cover gaskets, um, I think we needed a couple sensors as well. And then again, just really just miscellaneous gaskets. I mean, if you've taken part of a motor before, you know a lot. Of, a lot has to come off, so we yeah. want to be able to make make sure we actually replaced everything. There was a lot of nickel and diamond at this point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> had to be done. Some of this stuff on here was not necessary at all. It was kind of just extra that we wanted to do because we were making the videos and wanted to get some cool photos and stuff of the car. So it had some aftermarket wheels on it already. One of them was cracked. So we ended up replacing that and putting some tires on them, some fresh tires and suspension, but I don't think that's factored in here because technically we didn't pay for that. Our buddy did and that those coilovers are going to go on his car. So that was kind of a wash. Other necessary items was the battery. Unfortunately, the battery was dead, so we had to buy a battery. Yeah, I mean, if you're just looking at this list, I mean, you see the, you know, the big orders. So there's a couple, there's a rear barrier caliper that needed to be replaced. Uh, Alex mentioned the battery. Um, the second Moss order, which was another big one for us, like monetary wise, was the the clutch kit, the engine mounts, the shift rebuild kit, and all the fluids as well, and the rain rail. Yep. Yeah. If you guys missed that, it didn't have a rain rail on it. 
And uh, when somebody broke the uh, <laughs> existing uh, the soft, top. soft top, we needed to take that off to replace it. And that's when we discovered the rain was bad. So, or not bad, just like non-existing, I should say. Yep. And then obviously we painted the car. So we, that actually worked out really well. Uh, we, we were able to get the paint supplies pretty cheap, only 275 and then doing all the work ourselves. That's probably one of the biggest things I feel like at least when you're like you're looking to at cars to buy if the paint is really clean that's going to stand out to you like really quickly and i like even when the guy showed up to buy it like he he seemed like really impressed like right off the bat when he saw it and saw how clean it was yeah I so mean, that's, that's going to help you out a lot yeah yeah if you're going to try to do this i mean if you're and you don't already have like an in to the body world and like the paint world, like it's i don't i don't see how you could make this happen It'd be harder for sure. Yeah. Like you'd want to as clean as you could possibly get. Um, I guess to that point, we also had to pick up a few um, pieces from other Miatas as well. We picked up um, headlights, taillight, um, trunk, and a hood from um, someone for 280 which I feel like that was pretty fair. So at this point in the video, my mic actually ended up cutting out for the rest of the video. So we're going to jump real quick to Eric explaining the whole price breakdown, how much we ended up getting for the car and our profits, and then we'll come back and wrap this video up. Yeah, so if we wanna go over to the potential costs, we had a few scenarios kind of built out, right? Where this was current, where we currently were. This was, the second one here is if we needed to rebuild the bottom end because, I mean, when you, when a car overheats, sometimes the bottom end can be damaged. Um, but, you know, Miatas have the iron block, um, so we were, we were pretty sure it'd be fine. And then the piston rings as well, like. You know, the, the cylinder walls looked good. Everything looked good on the bottom end, so we never went this route. And then potential C here, we had to, we were trying to sell the 15 by nines that came on the car with the new federal tires, which we ended up doing. And then our friend um, Cole had bought, purchased the coilovers for himself. So this 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 number here kind of represents where we would sit after selling a few pieces of the car off um, that we weren't going to use when we were or. We, or, that we weren't going to use when it's finally selling it. Yeah, so we did end up selling those wheels for like 500 550 something like that, I think. So yeah. at that point, we had that $3,500 invested in the car. I think previously, this might have had a few other different prices on here. Um, we had a few, like I said, the different scenarios. So we set it up for like 5000 6000 7000 you know, depending on how much we were going to have to do to the car and how much we thought we could make off of it. Uh, do, have you told them how much we sold it for? No, so we can do that. Okay. <laughs> So we sold that Miata for fifty seven hundred dollars. I don't know what I'm. I'm happy with it. Yeah, I was. I was definitely happy with it. Yeah, I. I think it would have been nice to get a little bit more, um, but you know, OBO, right? If you bring cash, cash talks. Yeah, and that was with the car being up for a week. We sold it within a week. We could have waited longer, been more patient. And this, this split profit right here, we're looking at not totally accurate because I think we stopped keeping track once we kind of got the car to like a really good spot and we knew we just needed to finalize a few things. I mean, I think miscellaneous that we could add to this probably like 300 maybe. Yeah, at the most. Just cause the exhaust work and like the trips to like part stores and the hardware we had to purchase for the car because whoever put it back together before, they didn't they didn't use the right bolts on a lot of spots. I want to say that. We so had to replace a lot We had to replace bolts. a lot of stuff, yeah. So yeah, I apologize about those audio issues in this one. Definitely will try a different setup next time I have two people talking. But that's pretty much the gist. We made about $1,000 profit each on the car. Not bad at all, especially considering how much had to be done to this car. This is probably one of the worst examples you could have for a flip, but we still made out pretty well. My advice would be find a car that has like one major problem with it. Maybe it needs paint or it needs a clutch or a timing belt or something like that. Head gasket maybe. Try and shoot for one major problem. Maybe that's why they're selling the car so cheap. Everything else is in decent shape, hopefully, and you can make out pretty well on it. But I should just about do it on this one. If you have any questions about any of this stuff or buying and selling Miatas, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to help you out. As always, thank you for watching. Have an awesome week, and we'll see you in the next one with a new project. See ya.